Born Pretty Store review, and there's also an acrylic nail art tutorial thrown in there used from the products that I got in the mail. So this is the bag, it's just a regular old bumble, bubble envelope, <laughs> and that's um, the acrylic brush I got. And then I got some um, full cover nail tips, some really long stiletto nail tips, uh, just a little jar, and some studs. So to start with the little jar, it's actually kind of nice. Um, you can mix acrylic in there or glitter mixes. The only thing I have to say is it's hard to see in the video, but it didn't come clean. There's a little bit of like dust and some glitter in there that weren't from, that wasn't mine. So you might want to wash it if you do get this. So here's the studs. Um, there's lots of colors in there. A couple shades of orange and pink and green and yellow and blue and purple and all sorts of colors. And there's some that are like petal shapes and little squares and circles. Um, they're really cute and they're really bright and so if you're doing something bright in summer they'd be awesome so here's the full cover nail tips um, this would be really useful if you want to make a set and then I'll put them on your nails later so if you wanted to do your own press on nails these would be fantastic and so I'm just going to show you this is a size zero so it's really big um, <laughs> it's much bigger than any of my nails are um, but they're they're almost a very slight like coffin shape or ballerina shape and they are flexible which is nice because you're gonna be putting acrylic on them so they don't need to be super strong so here's the really long um, stiletto nail tips that I got um, they have a half well and they're these ones are really strong which is good because they're so long you want them to have some extra strength just and even with the acrylic they're not gonna get too long but see how long they are they're beautiful they're so cool I can't wait to do some fun designs with them I'd never wear them but um, it'd be fun for practicing nail art and they don't come to like a dangerous point, it's a rounded point. So now here's the brush. Um, this is a size 12 sable hair natural brush. And it comes in this wonderful little plastic tube to keep it safe. And so, um, and then also on the top of the brush it has a uh, bristle protector. And then the handle comes off and you can use that as a cover. So like I just throw my brush in a bin that has all my acrylic stuff. And so it'll keep it safe there too, which is great because, well, you don't want your acrylic brush getting all messed up. And one thing when you get an acrylic brush that you want to do is you want to take a piece of paper towel, a tissue, I'm using a square toilet paper, whatever you got, um, and you want to just like run the brushes or the bristles through it just to get rid of, um, there's going to be a little white powder in there, which is going to hold the brush together. But So now I'm going to fit um, a full cover nail tip to my nail, and it was a little bit too square to fit up um, flush with my cuticle, so I'm just going to round out the edges a little bit. And then I'm going to square off the tip because it's a little bit rounded and I like it. I want it really square. So there, now it's all set up and I can start my design. So to begin with, I'm going to apply a very thin layer of sort of a new tone acrylic. Um, what this is, is I have a little bit of like a orangish, yellowish type of color in my monomer. So this is going to tint the acrylic. So I'm using white acrylic and then just a little bit of um, pigment in my monomer, which is going to give it some color. So there, as you can see, it's just a really super thin layer. You don't want it to be too thick because it's going to make the whole nail really thick. So pour some studs into the cover of this, um, the jar. And now I'm going to be using some just clear acrylic. And I'm going to be basically gluing them onto the nail. And this part you also want to keep really, really thin because the whole nail is going to get super thick. There's no way around it in this type of design. But I'm just going to start randomly placing them in any sort of pattern. I was grabbing this, um, the different studs, just whichever one caught my fancy. So I'm like, oh, that one looks pretty. I'll stick that one on there now. And um, you can copy this pattern if you want, or you can make up your own. Um, I thought it turned out really well in the end. So I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes having no plan at all is the best plan. So as you can see, um, periodically I had to add more clear acrylic just because what was there had set and so it wasn't going to attach the, um, the studs anymore. So what you want to do is you only want to place acrylic to the areas you think you can get done in time because otherwise it's going to set and each layer that you have to add to um, reattach them is just going to get thicker and thicker and thicker. So you want to be careful and not put on um, too big of an area of acrylic. Just keep them small. And as I'm doing this, I'm just going to give you a couple little notes that I have on the brush. Um, it is not the best brush I've ever used, but it is really good. And for the price, it is fantastic. If you haven't, um, if you've never used a larger brush, because um, the one I usually use is an 8 and this one's a 12. So it's quite a bit bigger. 
If you haven't used a bigger brush and you want to try it out, this would be a great one to try before you want to um, invest in a more expensive brush. So if you want to just give a brush a try, this one would be a great thing just to see if you like the size. Or if you've never really worked with acrylic and you don't need a really super fancy brush because when you start working with acrylic, you're going to ruin your brushes, almost guaranteed. This would be a great one just to use as like a practice brush. So that's a good thing. Otherwise, some people like to have a brush that they use just for glitter because it can kind of stick in the bristles and then when you don't want glitter, you got it anyway and you're sort of stuck with it. This would be a good brush um, if you wanted to have one for just glitter or just shimmery colors or, you know, something like that. And so if you want a large amount of brushes, this would be a good one to use as like a filler brush. And it is really good for the price. I can't emphasize that more. I mean, it was super inexpensive for an acrylic brush, which is really nice because a lot of times they're very expensive. So as I'm filling in towards the edges, I'm choosing studs that'll fit almost to the edge, but won't go over the edge. Because if they go over the edge, then it's going to make your nail wider and thicker and all over the place. And then you're going to need to file them. And when you file them, you're going to lose the color and they're just going to turn silver, which is no fun at all. So try and keep them just flush up to the edge, but not going over the edge. Now I'm just going to add two more dark blue ones near the cuticle, and then I will be all done with my studs. And I'm just picking them up with my acrylic brush. It works pretty well. So now I'm going to be creating an overlay with clear acrylic. Um, one thing that I really like about using this bigger brush is I can do, I can create an overlay with just about one bead. I did have to use a second one, but it didn't, I mean, it worked really well. You just have to work quickly when you're working with a larger brush so that the acrylic doesn't set and get lumpy where you don't want it lumpy, but it created overlays really nice and smooth and um, fast too, which is nice. So now I'm going to be carefully filing the nail tip, and as I mentioned before, if you file through that clear acrylic, or if you file a stud, you're going to file off the color, and they're just going to look sort of like a pewter color. So be very careful when you're filing so that you don't lose your color. And then, of course, apply a layer of top coat. And you could file it until, or buff it until it was shiny too, but I like top coat better. So just apply that top coat, and then you're all set. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design. Please share recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and comment with any questions you might have. I would love to hear from you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!